Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of SCZ Live. I am Shanae, and just like our title said, there is never enough elephants. So we are back here today in our um, elephant habitat, where we're going to be visiting with Jen and Lauren as we do some different elephant uh, physical exam work. Yes. So Jen, tell us a little bit about what we should expect today. Um, so we're actually going to check out Simone um, and check out her eyes, her ears, um, her sulcus and also her feet. Um, so we uh, train this just so when a vet does come, um, nothing's ever a surprise, everything is normal. Um, so we, we do it kind of anytime they come in sporadically. And so that's what we're doing today. <laughs> okay, so we're, uh, we always like look at the nails and make sure they're not cracked or anything like that. Um, we can also hose them off, but looking for any kind of big flaps or making sure there's no kind of puncture wounds in there or anything crazy. Um, we actually don't do a ton of footwork on um, our Swazis, um, just because we let them kind of take their natural pad off seasonally. Um, and so hers at the bottom, her bottom pad is kind of soft right here, and it's starting to wear off, and this is kind of her older growth. And her nails look really good. They're dirty right now. But she has nice, no, no little cracks in there. A little dirty, now my hands are dirty. <laughs> but yeah, she's looking good here. And so she can throw up um, all of her feet. Um, yeah, we'll throw up a rear foot just so you guys can see that as well. And so we do watch their gait too. Um, we know what's normal for our elephants. And if we ever to see something that was abnormal, um, we would be able to, you know, ask, talk to a vet, talk amongst ourselves, and kind of figure out what's happening with our elephants there. So Lauren just tapping the back of her foot, trying to give her a little bit of guidance here. And she'll put it right up in that port. All right, so you guys can kind of see the tread better. Hey, Simone, on the back of this one. And so their tread is just like our fingerprint. It's different to every single elephant. So hers is not going to be like Titans or like a Johnny's. It'll all be different and unique to, to them. It's actually beautiful. It is, yes. And it needs to have that tread so they won't slip in acclimate weather and everything like we have now. <laughs> yeah, all kinds Crazy. of weather. And Adrian says hello to you guys. Hi. Hello. Morning or afternoon? I know, right? <laughs> all right, so we need come here. Yeah, there was a question out there of how many people can actually put their back leg up like that. <laughs> so. We all we also did have a question about opening back up. Um, we are opening back up to the public on the 21st. However, you do have to reserve a time slot. You can find all that information on our website at www.scz.org. So here um, is where we check their sulcus. Make sure there's no kind of like scratches, scars, anything weird going on up here. And, and tell us what the sulcus is. So the sulcus is this flap of skin um, that is to the side of the trunk where the tusk sits up in. Great, so that's thank what you. this is, yeah? So the tusk actually goes up to about this point Easy. underneath their eye. Arusi was born tuskless, so that flap of skin is solid after a couple inches. So we can flip it, look underneath and see your tusk. It's really smooth up there. <laughs> Good girl. And then we always get questions here at the zoo about this foamy kind of thick viscousness. Um, this is kind of just equivalent to like our eye boogers. Um, when it's windy and gross weather, it's just a secretion that their eyes have to protect them from all the grossness out um, in the weather. And all the sand. And, and all everything. the sand. Yeah, there's a little bit of sand underneath their eye right here. So that's all it is. Um, and then so we also, if a vet were to come, they would want to look at her eye and her cornea and stuff like that. So we open it up. Good girl. Good girl. And make sure she doesn't blink. And then I'm going to step back and go grab a light, and we can also pretend to be a vet with a light. Now, some of the we had some kids out there asking, "What uh, what are we feeding her right now?" Yeah, 
Uh, apples, it. white potato, sweet potato, Easy. maybe some carrots in there. Lights. I need a bucket like that to just Good carry girl. around for my snack at home. We can make one for you. <laughs> Lights. So just like a vet would do. Good girl. So they do get annual physicals. Does everybody know what annual is, kids? <laughs> Just like we go to the doctor, they have to go to the doctor. Well, the doctor here. comes to them. Yeah, here. Thanks. Come here. Target. Steady. So we also look in her ear. She's very tall. Um, Steady. And so, yeah, I'm going to grab a step stool real quick. Okay. So we had a question out there of if we're going to continue to do Facebook Lives, once we reopen, um, our education department who has been running the Facebook Lives, um, we're, we're working on that now. We don't know if we're going to continue to be able to do two a day, but we're going to sure continue to try and do something because we have also enjoyed doing them. Okay, Jen, I'm going to get up here close to see what's, what's going yeah, on Yeah, so it's kind of hard to see, but they have an inner ear canal kind of just like we do. Um, and then when you stick your finger in it, it actually closes so off. They, and it's yeah, they, close your ear they close your ear hole off. And that's when any dirt and debris doesn't get in there, when it's really windy or dusty or dirty. Or when they're wallowing. Or when they're wallowing. Um, and then they also secrete this liquid that kind of traps all of the dirt so it doesn't get down in their ear canal. My so, kids need that. Yes. <laughs> so basically kind of like a built-in Q-tip, <laughs> I guess. That's a liquid. All right, we're going to step back and we're going to flip her sides and look at her other side of her face. Oh, gosh. Sophie would like to know how many bones they have, and my answer would be a lot. Bones? Just big. How big many? bones. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll a, lot, a lot of bones. <laughs> big bones. Good girl. Um, there was a question also of what happened, where are our two original elephants? Stephanie, who is one of those two originals, is still here with us and is the matriarch of our, our um, elephant herd here. Um, Cinda, who was with Stephanie for many years, passed away now about five years ago. Um, but Stephanie has really done a great job of being a matriarch of our herd here at uh, the uh, Habitat. She'll be 49 this year. Wow. Tied for the fifth, fifth oldest. oldest African elephant in North America. And she is just amazing. She is cry. These, these juveniles keep her young. They do. All right, here we go. She can kick. He's a good lunge. Lights. Good girl. Good girl. Um, and I, I know. How fresh she is. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Girl. And besides her tusks, um, elephants also have teeth inside their mouths as well. Yes. If, open. if you guys go back and watch some of our other Facebook Lives on YouTube, you can also see our tooth cleaning that we have done with Stephanie. Okay. You see your top teeth Yeah. Open. So elephants have four teeth. They get six sets throughout their life. Maybe. So we come in. Yeah. There we oh, go. There you can we see go. I can see right. him. Yep. There you go. Good, Good job. Open. Same thing. Yeah. All right. Great. Smoonye Neal. So the question on how many elephants do we have right now? We have two males. And six females. And Michaela, this behind the scenes friend right here, just looked up and gave us a sheet about how many bones the elephant ha have. It is 210. There you go, Miss Sophie. 210 bones. Amazing information that we have on our fingertips. So we're now going to lean Sunye in and do a practice, um, like, oh my gosh. Like Listen blanking, to listening GI to her track. chest and her yeah. GI tract. Okay, and... so real similar to what we would do yes. when we go to the doctor. They listen to your chest, they listen to your back. And so we don't like do it officially. We don't have special stethoscope mm -hmm. to do it. We just mimic as best we can. So then when a vet comes in, um, they can do the official one. Good girl. Moving down. Good girl. 
Good girl. How much does a, a female elephant generally weigh? Um, our girls, Stephanie is 6,900 pounds, and Simunye is around 6,000 to 61. Okay. Um, these Swazis are a little on the smaller side, so I would say average is around 7,000 for an African female elephant. And the males? Uh, males probably average is 11,000, 12,000. So Johnny, he is his heaviest weight. He's 10,650 pounds. And his sire is at Disney, Mac. And he's in the 11,000 range. Okay, so he's a big guy. So Johnny will probably be in the 11,000 range. Mm -hmm. Do a trunk wash? Yeah. Now, we did have Gemma ask if, if they can do any tricks. And we want to be real careful to say, we don't train our elephants to do tricks. Yes. We train them to do behaviors that helps us care for them more successfully. Exactly, yes. So we're, uh, any goal we have here is not to do anything else besides to make sure that their care is the most important thing. Um, even this trunk wash, which we're getting ready to see now. Yeah, she's just relaxing. So Lauren's going to uh, ask her for her trunk. And then she just has water in the syringe, um, and it's 60 mils. And so she's going to squirt that in her trunk. She's going to ask her to trunk. That will make the water wash all the way down the nasal cavity. She'll ask her to present again. And then she'll blow it into the bag and expel everything out. Or, she or, or, or she'll or, just spray it all over all of us. Yes, and it's all about practice. Um, you know, we haven't probably done this with Samune in a couple of sessions. so. You know, she will just work with her and, and try it again and see what she gives us. She was the most uncomfortable with uh, touching her trunk. From good like, job. Girl. Good job. And she also oh, has a, a little baby blow. <laughs> Some of the elephants blow the bag so hard you think it's going to pop. And she and Titan just blow very lightly. She's <laughs> sensitive yes. with her nose. Yes. But it took a lot of trust to get her to even let us manipulate her trunk. And that's, I think, such an important part is the trust that uh, the, the, the animals build with you all as their keepers and as um, vice versa. So we're going to do a, um, or check out her heart. So we just do that with a stethoscope as well. Okay. We had a question of, um, are any of them going to mate or to breed? Yes. Um, that is our hope? Yes, we are hoping so. Um, so she is actually our, um, our elephant that we're trying to breed right now. Uh, so she and Ajani have had multiple attempts, and we're just hoping that the last one took. And if not, you know, we have another chance in July, and, you know, we'll try it then. So our younger girls are, are getting bigger and becoming of age, and um, we have one other one that is cycling. Wait, I don't remember. I don't remember either. How often do they cycle? About 14 weeks. Yeah. Okay, so about every 14 weeks they go through a cycle. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank we haven't you. done this in a while. We started training up for a heart ultrasound. So what they're doing, they're now... They're setting her up to train for a heart ultrasound. This isn't something she trains to do as regularly. So sometimes it's just a practice as they go. But they, you see she put her foot up. And now they're going to get her to lean in closer to the bar. There you go. Okay. Hey, Sweeney, coming up. Hey, beautiful. Good girl. So the bar actually opens up her armpit so we it's can on get there. to her heart better. Good girl. Oh, I see. So That's just an ultrasound probe. So what they're doing is they put her leg up on the bar, which allows Jen to get down um, closer with that ultrasound probe um, to be able to get a better reading. And again, this is just a practice probe. But this is great so if the vets do need to come in, they can easily get in and it's not something frightening or unusual for the elephants. It's something they train for every single, well not every day, but on a regular basis. Yes, yes. Whenever they come in to train, we're trying. Any, anything else anybody wants to see? Let's see. We um, are talking about, we have a, a thank you that they really love elephants, and the more they know, the better it is. <laughs> awesome. I think we'll go ahead and end here with 
Lisa Munoz. She's done a great job today in her training session. We thank all of you guys for uh, uh, going Facebook Live with us. She's beautiful. She <laughs> is beautiful. Remember that there are other ways to, to be in contact with us as well. We do have the Zooming with the Zoo, where you can have um, some personal time with the keepers or the education staff and any of the animals here at the zoo, uh, as well as our Virtually Wild. If you're in one more boring virtual meeting, by gosh, you could have the elephants in the background if you wanted. And, and Jen and I talk. And Jen, Jen and Lauren could talk too. So thank Love you it. all, and remember, even though we're closed, we're still caring.